na wale marafiki zangu ambao naangalia hapa tu Corino kuna rafiki kuna rafiki yangu mmoja anaitwa Profesa Dr. Waigwa ambaye anaishi Marekani ambaye is my neighbor amenionyesha mambo mengi sana kwa dini ya Kikorino na wakati nimekuwa law school the first Corino lawyer katika Kenya hii alikuwa my classmate kijana shupabu sana na tumemtengenezea aenda fanye masters kwa hiyo of Corino tuko na nyinyi Mungu awasaidie mtaendelea na serikali yetu ambayo itakuja Mungu na mahali pa kukaa ku represent your values <laughs> ladies and gentlemen this is a funeral i would not come here to joke or to entertain politics first and foremost i would like to talk and uh, of course the message for baba will come from uh, Eugene Wamalo who is my senior uh, to the bereaved family to the bereaved family um, I've seen the pain in your face. Nimeona uzuni mingi sana kwa yule msichana mdogo ambaye yako shule. Huyo msichana sijui ataenda shule gani, ningetaka kujua kama msomi, kama asoma kama mimi na tumsaidie haraka haraka aendelee. I'm willing to mentor that girl if you give me a chance under the tutelage of the chairman, Mr. Maina. Ya pili, ya pili Huyu maina ambaye amefanya nimekuja mlima Kenya. Kuanzia leo akaya kijua ya kwamba kule mkoa magharibi, western kule ambapo natoka mimi na Eugene. Sana sana watu wa Mumias na Kakamega. Tunamwalika kirasmi. Manake yeye pia amekuja na nyota ya kujua kwamba watu wa mkoa magharibi ni watu na ametuita tuje hapa. Sana sana nikizungumza tribal card ya Kiluya ngabaliwa banja hapa libosi mkenya inamba wa manyembo maina njenga maina njenga na nikisema mara tatu kwa liwa tunasema kwamba huyo ni kingpin maina njenga maina njenga maina njenga na hiyo ni kiapo kutoka kule kwetu mumias na nita kuwekelea mkono kija kule ndi waliwe inzangu kwenzangu pia kuwekelea mkono hata kama utapewa pandei kule western kuna nyumba utajengea huko na jo umeoa tunaweza ongeza wewe wengine. Ya tatu, nataka kushukuru watu wa Nyeri kwamba mtoto wangu wa kwanza wa Ngoi who is 34 years old. Mama yake anatoka hapa na Romoru. Na ya nne, nataka kupongeza wakikuyu for having helped me to be who I am today. Nilipokuwa chokora kule Nairobi nikiwa Grogon Road, is JJ Kamodo ambaye alinichukua kanipeleka shule, amenifundisha mpaka mahali nimefika. Right now I'm doing my 14th degree courtesy of the Kikuyu community. <laughs> Nilipokuwa uhamishoni kule Uingereza when I was in exile, anajua nimepewa muda kidogo sana. Mtu wa kwanza kunipatia ofisi ya kukaa wakati nilikuwa solicitor ama lawyer alikuwa anaitwa John Ngugi. Ngugi kwao kulikuwa ni webuye. Nilipoenda America, mtu wa kwanza kunikaribisha katika kazi ya reja reja hii alikuwa ni mtu kutoka Karatina. Alikuwa ni mkikuyu. Kwa hivyo kikuyu community you are here to live the way you lived 500 years ago, the way you are living you live during Moist time, you are going to live and you'll see over this thing and your destiny ni ile watoto wa Israeli. You kill one kikuyu, 50 are born. Ukikula ukiua tano, 50 wamezaliwa. You are a god created, spirited and spiritualized family. Without you Without you na nitasema kama Mluya Kenya is not in existence. Walai Kenya is not in existence without the Kikuyu community. And therefore whoever is, whoever mtu yote ambaye anafikiria nataka kuwa rais wa nchi hii. Lazima boya hiyo sikiza tune wanamziki wengi talent yao ni ya hali ya juu. Lakini mapato yao ni duni. Because there's been exploitation ya musician wetu na vile vile bado tunaongeza mambo ya ushuru mambo ya uh, creative content if that is taxed hiyo pia inafinya wanamziki na ina limit creativity artists in our country so kama wanaazimia want to assure you wale wa music fraternity ya kwamba kati ya yale tunasukuma huko bomas yanawaguza pia ili ushuru uweze kushuka wananchi waweze kupumua kidogo Mambo ya mafuta imepanda sana. Bomas tumesema 
hata kama we uko hapa mkuroini ulipiga kura yako kwa Kenya kwanza ama ulipiga kura yako kwa azimio ukienda kwa petrol station hakuna petrol station ya watu wa Kenya kwanza hakuna petrol station ya watu wa azimio si wote tunakunywa mafuta bei gali petroli ikipanda inapanda kwetu sisi sote diesel ikipanda hata mafuta ta sote tunaumia na wa Kenya wote wanaumia kule bombers we have said as we sit we want to rise above partisan politics so that we put the people of Kenya who are Afuru. suffering Ilikuwa above our partisan politics the answers we are seeking family. are we, not Kenya Kwanza Kimbaya. answers what are we going to do to the international we are seeking the right answer for every Kenyan na na uzito na ako anaumia wa Kenya wengine wanaumia. Without... Hayo ndio mambo tunasukuma huko Bomas. Tumebaki na wiki mbili tukamilishe hiyo safari na tuna matumaini makubwa. Tukiongozwa na ndugu yetu Kalonzo Msioka, tukiwa na Kimani Ishungwa na timu yake ya kwamba because of our country we are all patriots. We want to see at the end of this process report ambayo itaguza na kumsaidia kila mkenya aweze kupumua. Kwa hivyo mkiwa nikiwa mkroeni naomba ya kwamba mkiombea familia ya rafiki yetu Mohiko mtuombee pia wale tuko mazungumzo bomas tulete majibu mazuri yatakayoboresha maisha ya wakenya. Mtatuombea. Watu wa mkroeni mtatuombea. Watu wa Nyeri mtatuombea. Ama hapa nyimu mko sawa? Hapa mnaumia vile tunaumia western basi tutembee pamoja tuweze kusaidiana na washukuru sana Mungu awabariki na Mungu awalinde. Asante sana. Tumpigie makovi mazuri.